All right, there we go. What's going on? I want to say thank you to everyone who has bought a course and thank you to the people who are about to buy a course. And thank you to the Nerd Tribe for your wonderfully constructed comments. Today's video, we're going to be talking about cash is not trash. In recent events, there's multiple YouTube videos, Grant Cardone saying cash is trash. You need to get rid of your cash and to buy an asset so you can be ahead of inflation. And inflation has been knocking the head off of a lot of people currently. But now there's something that's a little different. They're saying everyone needs to have some cash and cash is not trash. I'm about to explain to you why. The last 11 years before the pandemic, um, before this rampant inflation, monetary policy dictated that it made sense for you to invest money to buy a home because due to monetary policy, mortgages were extremely cheap and the monetary policy that we had, we no longer have that monetary policy. The Fed is pumping up the basis rates. So the, what the Fed is doing is literally destroying the stock market and destroying the housing market because mortgage rates are going up. So now these people who I'm going to say something that may seem a little obscene. A lot of these people who are talking about invest cash is trash are in their late 20s and early 30s and they have never experienced a bad stock market. So their advice isn't rooted in wisdom and experience. It's regurgitated advice because like what I'm telling you right now, I feel that the mar stock market is due for a long period of non gains. We're due. And I feel and there's there's one guy, Joseph Hogue. Bowtie Nation who actually said buying on the dip is a bad idea because the market has been down most of the year. So if you buy on the dip and once again, there are some people who are like, hey, buy stocks because it's cheap. This is your time to get wealthy. Everything's on sale. I want to see are these same people going to be giving the same guidance next year when the stock market is still down? That's what I'm waiting to see. Because I don't, I, you know, because here's the thing. If you are an options trader or a day trader, you can make money in this market. But if you're a buy and hold investor, you can literally be buying on the dip for years. Uh, I have SCHD, which is a dividend um, ETF. And I bought some Apple stock and I just get up every morning and I check them and they keep dropping. They keep dipping. They keep dipping. So I'm not buying this, you know, and I've seen all kind of advice, like literally all of the advice that worked when the monetary policy was about cheap money, lower interest rates is not going to work in this current economic cycle. So. We're going to need new thoughts. We're going to need new concepts. We're going to need new ideals. And one of the things that is happening right now before our eyes is we have runaway inflation. Inflation, as I put out, is much higher than what you're being told. It is significantly higher. And people are experiencing a $500 to $2,000 per month increase in normal expenditures. This is gas, food, rent. This is what the average person is seeing. Now, if you've got a mortgage at 2.4%, 
um, you might want to sit on that for a minute because you come out that mortgage and you buy another house, you're going to be looking at getting a mortgage 5.5 percentage points higher and you're going to be able to get less house because because the mortgage rates are so high, it's reducing the amount of house you could qualify. So you may want to sit still for a minute. Just saying. So right now we're, we're getting a lot of people who are talking about cash is not trash as an entrepreneur. And th this is one of the things that I've been saying for years, because, you know, they're your favorite YouTubers. I'm not mentioning names. I'm not going to start any YouTube beefs, but I have been always saying that you need to have some cash in your life. I've, I was the only one that was saying this when the monetary policy was about cheap money. Now, recently in my community section, I showed $400,000 of earned income and how I'm paying myself. So just that, that's not all the cash I'm sitting on. Cause every time I show what I have in my business accounts, I get a million and one people. It's like, Hey, would you invest in my startup? Uh, I'm not an angel investor. I, that doesn't excite me. There's nothing I want to do. I feel that I am the best startup source for my money. So I, I will never, ever, ever show what I have in my business accounts again, because I did that literally for five weeks straight. I was getting email after email. People wanted me to invest in their startups. And no, 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 no. But I will show you my payment processor. And I will show you what I have in my personal checking account because I practice what I preach. I am actually sitting on cash, not stocks. I'm not trying to invest every penny unless it's in a new business. And once again, uh, should bring you to something that I'm getting ready to do. The new training is called the corporate game. And it's going to be very different. It's going to include the intellectual property school. It's going to include the art of business school. And it's going to include some new stuff. One of the things that I'm going to do that's going to be very, very different this time, because this is something that I shot away, because if you go ahead and you sign up for the corporate game, I am going to get on the phone with everyone that signs up for the corporate game. So you're going to get some in-depth consulting and guidance and wisdoms and going forward, I'm, I'm, I'm working some stuff out. I'm probably going to start another group. Now, if you have already bought something, give me a little time and I'm going to set up an additional offer. Because if you've noticed, I don't really do what a lot of other people do. I don't never, I never bomb the price. So if you spent four thousand dollars for something two three years ago you're not going to see me sell that same product for five hundred dollars i don't do that all that does is piss people off and it trains people to wait you out because it's like well he you know it, it's kind of funny because uh, someone that made a comment that, you know i'm gonna wait for the big sale and i started laughing because i'm like when have i ever had a sale I don't do Black Friday sales. I don't do Christmas sales because Rolls Royce doesn't do sales. Ferrari doesn't do sales. Bugatti doesn't do sales. Actually, I don't even think BMW, Porsche, I know doesn't do sales. So one of the things that you should be aware of and one of the things that you should be cognizant of with this new training, we're going to get into some boot camp, and I'm also going to split up my business owners. If you have an active cash flowing business, you're going to be in a different group because I'm going to have two groups. I'm going to have the, hey, I want to start a business group, and I'm going to have the business owner group because if you're a business owner, you don't need all the how to start a business, things to do. You might need to go through that, but you don't need that type of stuff. And that's why B-School for Hustlers is how to start a business. And the corporate game is if you have a business, how to scale a business. So this is one of the things, and I'm starting it off early because um, 
you know, it's October, but I'm probably going to raise the price in December. So you've got until now to get in. And, you know, I, I might make some additional juicy stuff because we're going to have some fun. Because I've been like, you know, that little breaky break I took actually helped me out. And it helped me think more about my thesis. And this is my thesis. Part of the corporate game is to help you create a business or a group of businesses to get you to $250,000. Now, why that number? That is the number for me when my life changed to you know i wasn't a millionaire but i felt rich i could drive what i wanted to drive i could live where i wanted to live i could take vacations it provided a level of freedom that i had never experienced before and once again i wasn't a millionaire there was none of this you know so the goal is to create corporate citizens to get you to that $250,000 a year mark so you can begin to live the way that you wanna live. So that's one of the things, that's, that's part of the thesis. And another part of the thesis is getting people who want to do the work. Um, right now, YouTube, YouTube University, I feel, has some beautiful, awesome creators. And YouTube University has a bunch of lying assholes. And that's the mix. So what I have done for myself, because all this did is just piss me off. I will see these people putting out the, like, like this whole thing with low content books. All right. I am a author that made seven figures selling my books. So I know how Kindle KDP worked. I know, and notice I said worked because I haven't been over there in a minute. I know how create space work. And here's the thing. If you have books on Amazon without some form of direct marketing, you, you're going to make a few hundred bucks a month at most. That's the reality. And that's the thing. Cause like I said, Amazon, you know, trigger the Amazon algorithm. Uh, there is something that people are looking like. I, I will tell you one of the things I did. I wrote some erotica books and I wrote a bunch of them and I got up to about $10,000 a month. And then I've looked, I haven't sold anything in years because I'm not pushing those books because here's the thing with Amazon every month brand new books come on the platform so they push the older books down so literally like uh, i don't even think i have sold one of my storage auction books in about two or three years and this is a book that made seven figures so we're going to be talking about doing the real things and also for those of you in the intellectual property school we're going to start doing paid advertising because I'm getting ready to start running some ads. And that's why, you know, I did not just put some stuff in there because here's the thing. Everything on YouTube consistently changes. So if I was to do some paid, you know, what I like, I, I've ran paid ads before and I would not run paid ads like I did last time. Like big tip. If you're going to run paid ads, you want to create a separate YouTube channel. You do not want to run paid ads from your main YouTube channel because what is an ad? It's an interruption. So most of the people are going to see this ad, which is attached to your YouTube channel, and they're going to abandon the ad. And this is just going to send signals to the YouTube algorithm that you're putting out content that most people don't want to see. And it's literally going to kill your channel. So what you want to do if you're going to run YouTube ads, you want to have a separate YouTube channel that is not your main channel. You don't ever want to run YouTube ads from your main channel or a channel that you're you're putting content on and you're making money. You don't want to do that. You, you just don't want to do that because that that will it will just kill you. So we're, we're about to get into a lot of training um, November, December, because the thing is. January 2023 is about to hit. So one of my goals, because I'm about to do, uh, what is it? A challenge, the LLC challenge. My goal is to get 
everyone that is in B School for Hustlers to get their holding company, to get their LLC before or, you know, launch this stuff at the beginning of January. Because if you go ahead and set up your LLCs and stuff now and you don't have it, you're going to have to pay administrative fees, which in my opinion are nothing. But, you know, a lot of people are super sensitive to that stuff. But what I want to do is go ahead and get this rolling because structure set out. Shout out to the real estate trapper. Shout out to the credit plug. These are two guys I rock with because they both say the same things that I say. Hey, you need to have your paperwork together. I have business credit and I don't have one net 30. I don't have one gas card. I've got business credit cards. I have lines of credit. And I got this because I had one business bank statements and two uh, tax statements. A few of those people asked for my tax returns. So we're, we're going to I'm going to teach you how to set up your business credit properly. There's going to be a lot of training that's going to come because, like I said, I'm, I'm overhauling everything. And once again, if you go below, because it's the only thing going to be in the first comment, because like the podcast just kind of fell off because, you know, I couldn't get it in the Apple and I'm just sitting there like, what the hell? So I'm probably going to start another podcast. We will see. But essentially, this all goes back to you need to have some cash. You need to be cash heavy because I, like one of the things I keep seeing is you should, you know, cash is trash. You, you know, here's some that is funny that that's cracking me up. When the monetary policy was a liberal and there was cheap interest rates and a lot of money in the systems and inflation wasn't that high. They was like cash is trash. Inflation is destroyed. Now, inflation is a monster right now. And now a lot of people's like you need to have some cash. Inflation is eight. Actually, inflation, I believe, across the board is about 22 to 25 percent. So. That's eroding your bottom. And once again, we're getting to the corporate game. Uh, corporate, the real estate trapper said he wasn't worried about inflation. I don't remember if the credit plug said anything. And I'm not worried about inflation because of income acceleration. What's this? You make money faster than you can spend it. If you're in a situation where your money's dripping in and you know, toward the end of the month, you start stressing because, you, you know, you're you're not practicing income uh, acceleration. I, on average, get anywhere from 15 to 20 deposits in my checking account every month. Average person has two or four deposits. So what we want to do is get your deposits up. You want to get to 10, 12, 14, 16 deposits per month. So you can start practicing income acceleration. So you don't have to be sitting out here sweating it out, worried about inflation. I mean, once again, I don't worry about inflation because I practice income acceleration and there's some more training that I'm going to do. So there's a lot of training that's coming, a lot of stuff that's coming that we're going to get into. And I'm really happy that I took my little break, because if you notice, I'm not arguing with the wet men or all this other stuff because uh, they still leave their comments, but they just I start practicing my hustlers kung fu. Ha ha, you're blocked. And just keep it moving because these people really don't matter. It really, really don't matter. But yeah, you know, the goal is let me go ahead and outline some goals. If you're a single man, this is the goal. We want to get you $30,000 cash in the bank, paid off car, little to no debt and live on your own. That's where we, that's 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 the beginning. That's where we want to get. So if you're a family, you're going to need 50,000. Same situation, paid off cars, little to no debt. And I'm going to do a training because like at the moment, I don't have any of my personal credit cards in my wallet. Don't have them. I'm going to do a free training for everyone on how to get business credit, how to start your business and how to convert 
all of your credit cards to business cards so you do not have to worry about like this is funny i paid off the mercedes because i sold the mercedes and it got paid off and my credit score dropped 23 points on experian 19 points on transunion and it dropped 23 points on equifax then it went back up i don't know what's going on i'm waiting for the other two to go back up but going forward i will never ever buy another car using my personal credit I will never ever do that because what's going to happen is I'm going to make my personal credit bulletproof because I'm not going to be using it. I'm going to teach you how to do this in a free training coming up really, really soon. So one of the things that you guys have got to understand, you need to have some cash. You don't have to be a millionaire. If you just like, I want you to think, whatever your financial position is right now, if you had $30,000 in the bank, a paid off car and little to no credit card debt, what would your life look like? What would your life look like? And this, this you know, cause we got objectives cause you know, there's a lot of people who are on this aspirational stuff like, who's here is gonna be a millionaire next year, claim it. Who's here is going to have six figures in their checking account next year? Claim it. And if you're an average person making thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year, there's virtually nothing you can do outside of winning the lottery that's going to make that happen. You can start a business and the business can be extremely successful and you will not hit those numbers. Because, see, what I want to do is provide some realistic clarity like once again and this is why i tell you the story this is why i say 250k 250k you can live where you want you can drive where you want and you also have money to invest and you can live a good life at 250k you're not a millionaire you don't have a bugatti but i got i'm, I'm about to share something with you um i'm in a really good relationship and we have sex quite a bit and I want, you know, cause th this is something that I've noticed that I really don't even look at other chicks. And I mean, I might see someone that's attractive and I'll note that she's attractive and that's about it because where I'm at, I'm content. I'm happy. I'm happy with my business. I'm happy in my personal life. I am happy. And that's where I want you to be because I got a question. What's the use in having, quote, unquote, a bad bitch if you're not happy 100 percent of the time with her? What is the point in having that? You know, she looks good and she can dress up, but most of the time you're not happy with her. That's just to me a waste of time. Just my opinion. But yeah. So if you want to get into the corporate game, because this is the preliminary stuff, because I'm going to probably make some more changes, add some more stuff. Go below, it's gonna be in the first comment and everyone that signs up for the corporate game. Now, once again, if you sign up for the payment plan, we're not talking, we're not talking. Cause I have a whole bunch of people who will sign up for the payment plan to get a consult. I already know how that's gonna go. So if you sign up for the payment plan, we will not talk until after you have completed your payment plan. But if you go ahead, jump in one and done then we get on the phone and we talk and depending upon what situation you're in where you want to go yeah we're, we're going to work on that so that link is below and i'm going to send out uh, a discount to everyone that's in the b school for hustlers system because you know i used to run my consults with candidly and i would keep setting it because one of the things i hate is for someone to buy a console at 10 a.m. and they want to talk at 12. You know, that that's just dis disrupts my day. And I kept setting it where literally three to four days in the future so I would be able to know what was going on. And it kept messing up. So I got rid of the candidate. So what you have to do to get a console is go ahead and pay for it contact me and then I will put you on the calendar and then that will work because that way I will not be oh 
it's 10 o'clock you got a console at 12 that that just drove me crazy so and that's one of the reasons but we're getting ready to do a lot of consulting a lot of consulting so if you're in the b school for hustlers uh system i'm going to be sending out discount codes to everyone that is in the system that's in the system discount codes and yeah we're getting ready to do some beautiful beautiful stuff and um once again we will see we will see so that's going to be in the first comment and we're going to be talking about building a strong cash position because all of these fools out here um talking about you know having no cash it's interesting because you know in my community post i put all these people who are talking about making all this money but they provide no proof not an ounce of proof that they're making this money nor do they get into specific numbers nor do they get into details it's just like yeah i'm a millionaire millionaire gang what's up hustler we're making all this money right but there's no damn proof not and I, once again credit plug shows proof real estate trapper shows proof this is one of the main reasons i rock with these guys how hard is it to actually show receipts to prove uh, validation to what you're putting out on the internet it ain't that hard and if you are listening to a content creator who's saying all of this stuff but absolutely refuses to provide valid receipts um you might want to stop listening to that content creator i'm just saying i'm just saying 